and voltage dividers. I'm going to talk you through how to work out three different examples for voltage dividers. So the first example, what we've got is 5 volts across a 2 kilo ohm and 3 kilo ohm resistor. And we've got to work out how many volts we've got across the 3 kilo ohm resistor. Now the method to do first of all is to work out the total resistance. And we've got the formula on the formula sheet here. So our total, add the two resistors, 2K and 3K together, we end up with 5 kilo ohms. Second stage, we know that we've got 5 volts across the total resistance. We know we've got 5K in total, so we can work out the current. So using rearranging this equation, we end up with I equals V over R. Substitute the numbers in, and we end up with 1 milliamp flowing through the whole lot. The next stage, we know the current flowing through that resistor, and we know the resistance. So we can do V equals IR. Substitute the numbers in, so we've got 1 milliamp. And then we've got 3 kilo ohms, and this comes out to be in 3 volts. So we've got 3 volts across this resistor. Second example, we know one of the resistors, we know the voltage over the whole lot, and we know the voltage across the unknown resistor. We've got to work out what R is. So what do we know first of all? Well, first of all, we know how many volts we've got here, how many volts we've got here. So we know how many volts we've got across the 2K resistor. So therefore, we can work out the current flowing through the 2K resistor. So we've got 6 volts at the top of the resistor, 4.5 volts at the bottom of the resistor, which gives us 1.5 volts across it, divide by the resistance. And we end up with 0.75 milliamps as the current. Now, the current that's flowing through here will be the same current flowing through this resistor here. So therefore, we can use R equals V over I. We know we've got 4.5 volts across it, 0.75 milliamps going through it. And the reason I've got the noughts here, we've got that voltage at, at the top of it, that voltage at the bottom. And this comes out as being 6 kilo ohms. So in this combination here, if that's 2 kilo ohms, that will be 6 kilo ohms. Next example, we've got a diode here. So what do we know? Well, we know across the diode, forward biased, there'd be 0.7 volts across it. OK, let's work through this then. The next thing to do, let's work out the total resistance we've got in this part here. So if we add the two resistors together, 15.6K and 9K, it comes out as 24.6 kilo ohms. Now what we can do, we know the total resistance there. We also know the voltage across these as well. So we can work out the current flowing through. So what we've got, the voltage across the whole lot is 13 volts minus 0.7 volts from the diode. And then we divide by the total resistance. So that's 13 volts minus 0.7 divided by the total resistance. And that comes out as half a milliamp. And then we do the same as we did in the first example. We know the size of the resistance and we know the size of the current. So V equals IR, multiply these out and we end up with 4.5 volts across that resistor there.